Great grind day, great grind day. This is your daily grind. All right, listen. So there's a lot of people that want to make money, but not all of them are willing to work. That's the first thing. And I heard this quote a long time ago. It said, there's a lot of people that want a job, but most of them don't want to work. And I found that to be true. True story. It had to be the late 80s. I graduated high school in 1986. So it had to be maybe 88, 89. Um, my sister had called me, right? And she was like, AT&T is doing a job fair and you can go down there and do all of the paperwork and everything. It was like that one day hookup. Um, now she tells me I put on a white suit to go down there, but I don't remember nothing about no white suit going to no job fair. But I remember her saying to me, make sure you put a suit on and whatever and go down there. So I went reluctantly. I was young. I was like, I don't want to go. I wasn't working. I was hustling a little bit. Um, didn't, wasn't, didn't bring, wasn't bringing no money in, I don't think, at the time. And her and my mother was on my head, so I ain't ruined my life. You know what I mean? Um, but I went. I wasn't that hard-headed. I went. And I went through the all the whole day thing. Now, my mama made me take typing when I was in 10th grade, and I tried to fight her tooth and nail. She made me take it, and I actually was great with the typing. So when I went to the, the, the all-day hookup at AT&T, um, I had gotten to this last part, and they were like, we got to open in, in the message center, and you just got to take this typing test. So I took the typing test and they said, you got to do at least 35 words a minute and um, did the typing test. And I did like 45 or 50 words a minute, something like that. So I got hired on the spot. First job. They gave me a start date and everything. Right. And I'll never forget it. I was supposed to start. It was a Monday and I believe it was a president's day it was a holiday. Now I was young. I was in the streets. I was partying. I was doing my thing. The night before me and my man went out. We was at the club and. On Monday, that President's Day, when I was supposed to start, I never forget it. My phone rang at 9 a.m. And um, I, I got up and answered the phone. That was before cell phones. Got up, answered the phone. And it was my supervisor at my new job telling me you were supposed to be at work an hour ago. And let me tell you that feeling in my stomach because I wanted to work. I wanted to make money, but I didn't understand the concept of being responsible like that and going out. And if I could go out, then I need to be able to get to work. And so my stomach dropped and I was like, oh, my God. And in my head, I was like, yo, I just messed up a great opportunity. And he said, he said, look, buddy, don't worry about it. He gave me an opportunity. He said, don't worry about it. Come in tomorrow, bright and early, be on time. And from then I did a 10 year stint at at and Those guys taught me something phenomenal. The lesson and the moral of this story is I wanted to make money. I wanted a job. But at that point in my life, I really didn't want to put the work in. And there are some of us that. We want money. We want we want success. We want all of these great things. But it is going to require work and it's going to require sacrifice. The biggest thing I learned is if I got to be at work the next morning early, then I need to control how late I stay out the night before. So, look, whatever it is that you want out of life, you can have it. But understand there's something attached to it and it's work. Y'all have a great grand day. We'll talk soon.